Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Clarice Lim. Today I'm going to cover a P5 topic, electric city. Okay, electricity is actually quite simple. There's uh, not many things going to remember except that you need to understand the concept of closed circuit versus open circuit. When the circuit is closed, which means the, the switch is down, you can actually complete the circuit and electricity will flow. Okay, and then uh, what is uh, what are the things that, that are involved in a circuit? There will be cell, which is the battery, the source of energy. Okay, so this is how a battery looks like. If you have multiple batteries, it will look like this. Uh, most of the time, they don't draw the dotted lines though. They will just put them together like a long line, a short line, a long line, a short line. Okay, that's how you draw multiple batteries. Each pair of long and short, one pair of them makes one cell. Okay. So a lamp will look like that, a circle and a cross in between, that's a lamp. A voltmeter and ammeter are hardly used in P6 signs or even PSLE or I mean uh, P5, they don't hardly use, they hardly use them. So you can ignore them. Circuit arrangements are something that you need to understand uh, in terms of the difference between parallel and series. Okay, So for example, like in this these two conditions, each battery with 6 volts, if you arrange them in series, series means what? They are one after another, everything in one line. Okay, or rather, it doesn't have to be one line, it can be uh, in, in a circuit around and uh, they are all connected plus to minus, plus to minus, plus to minus like that. Okay, so for example, you see here plus minus over here, plus minus over here. So they are all, this is called a series arrangement. And the amount of volts that you generate, let's say you put a lamp here, the lamp will be very bright because it's 18 volts powered by three batteries together. But if you were to arrange the batteries in a parallel circuit which means if you put a bulb over here the bulb will only need to use one battery cell to complete the circuit therefore only one battery cell's volts is being used for the bulb which is six it will not combine with the other two and run the circuit it does not do that therefore if you want a brighter bulb you will need to connect them in a series if you want to separate out the bulbs and make it run independent of other bulbs, it will be running at a parallel series, a parallel circuit. Okay, now let's look at some questions. Study the circuits below, state whether materials A, B, C and D are conductors or insulators of electricity or not possible to tell. Okay, let's look at A and B over here first. A and B, okay, you see that there's a difference between the light bulbs. This one doesn't light up, this one lights up. How do I know? Because of these little uh, lines that's coming out from the bulb, okay? So this two lighted up, this two did not light up. So in this configuration, in terms of A, material A over here, material B over here, it did not light up, which means one of them is an insulator, okay? So one of them is an insulator leaving the circuit open. Therefore, the light did not light up. Okay, so in this case, A and C both allowed the light bulb to light up, which means definitely A and C are both conductors. Okay, so if A and C are conductors, um, A and B, one of them is not conductors, which means A is a conductor, B will definitely not be a conductor. You see that? You see the logic over here? So now we determine, okay, A and C are both conductors. What about um, B is not a conductor, right? But there is no B here. We know C are both conductors, so they definitely light up. B is an insulator. So if I put B here, the circuit will definitely be open and not be able to light up. So what is D then? Okay, so D will therefore be not possible to tell. Okay, so let's summarize. A is definitely a conductor because A allows the light to light up and B is an insulator because when A is a conductor, B is an insulator, the circuit is still open, no electricity is running, light bulb did not light up. C is definitely a conductor because when A is a conductor, C is a conductor and they are placed in a series form, the light bulb lighted up. And D, impossible to tell because B is an insulator, nothing happened to the light bulb and D is over here so I can't really tell whether it's insulator or a conductor because of the presence of B. Okay, let's look at another question. Sam built a circuit with three identical bulbs and two batteries over here, two batteries over here, three bulbs over here, but he con he covered all the connections to the bulb with a piece of card as shown. So you do not know which one is A, which one is B, which one is C. You can only see the light through the holes in the card. So all the bulbs will lead 
but their brightness was different. Okay, brightness is different means some of them is arranged in parallel, some of them is, is arranged in series, correct? Remember, if they are in series, the light bulb will be brighter. If they are in parallel, the light bulb will be dimmer. This is something you need to remember. So before connecting each bulb back into the circuit, he removed them one by one. Okay, before he connect that back, he write down his observations over here. So, draw a circuit diagram to show how the three bulbs could be connected. So, this is already what is over here. Right, this is the circuit over there. And so, what is below? Is it in parallel or is it in series? How do you decide? Very simple. Let's take a look. If A is removed, B and C remain lit. What does that tell you? B and C is independent of A, which means B and C can be a close circuit together, which means they must be in the same circuit, right? If you remove A, that means A is in a separate circuit from them. So let's see, I put A here, B and C will be somewhere here because they are different, all right? They are different. But how do I arrange B and C? Let's see, B and C is over here, right? It's either this one is B or this one is C, this one is C, this one is B, it doesn't matter. But how do I connect them? So we read on, when I remove B, C, is dropped, right? C is unleaded, which means they must be in a series form. They are no longer parallel because they are connected. Because if the moment I take away B, C cannot light up anymore. And A remain lighted up. And this is definitely because A is parallel. It is independent. It is a closed circuit by itself. Okay, I think I know how to draw it already. And if I remove C, B became unlit. Okay, same thing. So this tells me that if I remove this one, this one cannot light up, which means this must be in connection with each other. This is how I will draw it. Okay, okay, now let's look at another question. Alex wanted to connect two bulbs in such a way that each bulb is controlled individually by one switch. He drew the circuit diagram as shown below. Okay, so now let's see how do we close the circuit. If we were to switch off two, will there be a closed circuit? It won't be a closed circuit because switch one is still open. This is not a complete round. Therefore, the only complete round will be here. So do you think both bulb A and B will light up? It will not because there is no batteries here. You notice? So this is a complete circuit, but there is no batteries. Bulb A and B will not light up. Okay, let's say if we switch off one, we close this. So we close this. This one is a complete round already. So this bulb B will definitely light up. But will bulb A light up? No, because there's an open circuit over here. So bulb A will not light up. So does the switch, does the above circuit enable Alex to control the bulbs individually by only one switch? The answer is no. Switch one will be able to control B, but bulb a since but not bulb a since the circuit will be incomplete okay so where are the keywords over here the keywords will be the circuit is closed the circuit is open that will be the keywords over here so you, of course you can write it in other english like circuit is incomplete circuit is open circuit is closed up to you okay so switch one would not will be able to control bulb B because it actually closes the circuit here. Bulb A will not because the circuit is incomplete, it is open. Okay, that's how you answer this kind of questions. Using two bulbs, two switches, one battery, and some wires, draw a circuit diagram such that the bulbs can be controlled individually. Very simple. It will be like this. Just place the light bulb beside the switch. Place the light bulb beside the switch. Make sure they are parallel to each other so each one does not affect the other one and the battery is in another parallel so that the battery is not affected by the switch over here. Okay, so three things in parallel, you will be able to control them separately. Okay, so parallel is used like this. It is very useful because you can, you can uh, control each one separately. All right, another question. Emily made an electromagnet as shown below. Electromagnets is a very common question as well in PSLE science or rather P5 or so. She placed an electromagnet on a pile of steel paper clips but none of the paper clips was attracted. Why is that so? Most likely because the electromagnet is not strong enough, isn't it? So she noticed that the bulb did light up. So okay, the circuit is closed, so the bulb did light up, but no magnets is attracted. So she changed the setup slightly without adding any new items or removing any of the existing components. A few paper clips became attracted and lifted by the electromagnet. 
So what change did Emily make? You notice that there is this slack of uh, cables lying around here. That is a major clue for you because the only way to increase the strength of an electromagnet is to increase the number of coils around the iron rod. Okay, remember that. The only way to increase the strength of an electromagnet is to increase the number of coils around the magnetic material so that it will increase the strength. Okay, so what is the change that Emily did? She added the number of coils around the iron rod. Therefore, the magnet becomes stronger, the electromagnet becomes stronger and attracted a few paper clips. Okay, very common question over there. Let's take the last question. The diagram below shows a tunnel and the circuit on a toy train. Okay, so this is the toy train, the bug is here, the metal tin foil is here, okay, it's connected to the battery and then another metal foil strip here and then there's a metal foil on top why are they those metal foil metal foil metal foil because when the train enters these metal foils will actually help to close up this gap over here and therefore forming a closed circuit do you see that you imagine the train moving in this metal foil will be here on top and therefore closing up this circuit and therefore the bulb will light up you see the bulb will only light up when the whole train has entered the tunnel fully fully completely that means including the metal foil strip too it must touch okay so explain why the bulbs light up when the whole train completely enters the tunnel so what happens is if it's only this part that is connected let's say the metal foil this the train is halfway through okay so the metal foil covers this metal foil completes the circuit halfway this part is still open Right, so this part is still open, it won't be able to complete the circuit, therefore the bulb did not light up. But you imagine if the whole train enters and this is completed, this circuit is completed, this metal foil completely covers, touches the metal foil strip too and completes the circuit, therefore the bulb will light up. Okay, so how do you put it in English then? When the train is partially in the tunnel, partially over here this way, it's partial in the tunnel, only metal foil strip 1 will touch the metal foil, right? Forming an open circuit. Keyword, open circuit. Hence, the bulb will only light up when the metal foil strip 2 touches the metal foil, which closes the circuit. Keyword. So you have two keywords here. Open circuit, closed circuit. When the tunnel complete, when the train completely enters the tunnel. So this is how you answer electricity questions. You need to have the keywords open circuit, closed circuit. Electromagnets, the more coy, the better. Okay, parallel and series circuit. All this you must bear in mind how to draw them. Okay, how to connect them into one answer. That's all for electricity. I hope you learned a lot today. If you need to, do repeat the video so you get a better idea. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can get new videos coming up. Okay, thank you so much. See you. Bye-bye.